Hello and welcome to this video mood predictions from 2 2 2020 to 24 6 2021. Okay, isn't it a great day? Today is 2nd of February 2020. That's like 2 2 2 2 2, you know, if you take away the zeros. So, awesome day, great day to start doing a mood wave prediction. I actually, plan this few days ahead because it's the today is when the moon is half and it's half coming so that is a zero point on the wave when it crosses the line from negative to plus or plus to negative okay so looking at this wave here you see this zigzag wave girls born north hems that's northern hemisphere 2nd of february 2020 to 28th of march 2020 so this is a closer up look first at the next month coming ahead so you will be able to so i'll show pictures for each hemisphere and boy and girl and you will, will be able to look at it and see if it feels right to you so if we have a look here, I'll show you how I worked things out first. So using Excel. So to for this particular uh, date, 2nd of February to 28th of March, I'm looking at the day, the month, the year, and the 19-year mood wave. So... What I've had to do to do that is the day was easy because um, each point is a day. So I know I'm going to be up one day and down the next. Um, so then the month, I basically had to split. So what happens is um, with, this, with this Excel is you've got 0 to 90. And 90 will give you a value of 1, and 0 will give you a value of 0. So what I've had to work out here is how much the, the monthly wave is changing each day. Now, it goes from 0 to 90 in one week, seven days. So I've... Hang on a minute. Sorry, no, 0 to 90 in 14 days, in two weeks, it goes from 0 to 90. So I basically just say uh, 90 divided by 14, and that is the difference that it will change each day. And then with Excel, you've got to say radians equals, and then you get the next column, and then, then you can use the sign to turn it into something that will look like a wave and then I give it the multiplier which is on the next picture so for the month the power if you like I times it by because the month power is one per day so I do times that by 28 the year is half again as powerful each day so that multiplier is 91 and then the 19 year is again twice as weak so that gets multiplied by whatever I multiplied it by I got all the workings out here on a screwy bit of paper and then add them all up and then you get the waves so here you see all four of the waves from the time span 2nd of February 2020 to 28th of March 2020. And I'll flick through the pictures. So whichever you are, born in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere, or a girl or a boy. And the, those in the, for those in the Southern Hemisphere, um, I, I'm, I can't be 100% sure I'm right, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've been watching a few people who I know are born in the Northern Hemisphere. And I'm pretty sure you're six months ahead of, of us who are born in the Northern Hemisphere, 
but your the moon the moon mood is the same and the day mood is the same so the only difference between the northern and the southern hemisphere is where the the year the yearly mood hits so whichever you are oh no before i do that before i do that let me let me just show you here what we're looking at when we're looking for these waves we're looking for watch points now what i've noticed is the the, the part of the wave that is uh, most challenging for us is when it's changing um so here we're seeing the girls born in the northern hemisphere for the for the monthly prediction and they've they've the going at the the top in the sort of second week and then start to go down now that point is a sort of a lull point it's the, the values are not changing very much um so you get to a point and then it starts to change and that is what we feel so i've i've squared the number 21st of february that was actually by mistake because <laughs> I realized one didn't line up with two yet you know so it sort of be about the 23rd of February that would be a watch point for girls in the northern hemisphere now I think girls in the northern hemisphere are almost like the dominant power on the planet because I just think the girls are more powerful than men that's what I think and, and maybe you'll we'll talk a bit about that but also there's you know there's more people in the northern hemisphere so I, I feel like they have the dominance so we might get something like a big earthquake i it could be something like that or or something where that uh, accumulation of feeling of when they they're feeling like they're going down and they don't really understand why that accumulation can can sort of cause something and then we got another line so on the 9th of March, I hope I counted that right. I think I did. Um, be about the 9th of March when they've the change starts to level out and they start to feel better. And in the midst, you see, the midst of that isn't that bad. So it, it, it is, it is bad. It's you know, it's hard. Say it's call it hard, but you get used to it. You get used to your new sort of position in a sense it's the changes that we find challenging so i will skip through these pictures um so whichever one you are um you can pause it and, and just just have a look and maybe make some mental notes as to when you might be challenged um and when relief comes and it's that's why it's good to know that you know relief is always going to come it's the good thing about time isn't it that things will never stay the same right so now we move on and have a look at the the next um sort of year and a half i guess this shows well not quite a year and a half a year and a bit um it wasn't really i just sort of <laughs> a time you know it wasn't anything significant about it right so girls born in the northern hemisphere 2nd of february 2020 to the 24th of june 2021 so you can see there you're seeing the the main uh, curve is the year that they're sort of hitting their bottom and then coming back up and then you've got the monthly bumps and I haven't put the days on this chart because you wouldn't even see them. It would just be silly because every point, every point of data here is a week anyway. So, so again on Excel, I've just shown you what I selected here. Now this isn't for the girls. This is for the boys north. So they've got the 798 year there, and as you can see, it just barely changes as to be pretty much insignificant if you're thinking about how you're feeling day to day yeah like we are where we are on these 
big long waves, you know, and we're on them for a long time, but we don't really notice them so much. Um, you know, you just where you are basically. But I've put them in there because I think it's significant to know that girls and boys are are so far away from each other at the moment, and I think that explains a lot. So we've got the month, the year, the 19 year. Now, when you see on this, if you look at the 19 year values, they are moving. They are having an effect. Now, that's one thing I noticed about these graphs looking up for the next year and a bit. They are having a significant effect gradually because uh, in the 19 year wave, we are moving. We're in the midst of it. So it is moving fast. Um Whereas in the 798 and the other one for the girls, the 21, 28 year wave, we're in lull periods. We're not moving. It's not changing hardly at all. So, and then we've got the, I've done the totals and added up the totals and that's how I get the value. And I just, when I select the total, I just say insert to graph and then I um, tinker about with the, uh, the bits on the sides and don't change any values I just try and make it fill the graph so this is this is the all four together look again I'll, I'll go through and you can look at the one for you now the other thing I want to say is you know we've all got a soulmate and I've been feeling more and more how much um, how common it is for me to be feeling my soulmate and but obviously haven't you know put it two and two together before to say oh this is feeling my soulmate so we're all feeling our soulmates now i'd say about you got about you know five percent say of you is your soulmate so if you're a boy five percent of you is a girl and that's your soulmate if you think of it like that, it's quite a big chunk in a way. And, you know, most of us often just choose to close down that that connection because it's not serving us. You know, we've got some other girlfriend that we need to deal with and, you know, that takes up enough. We can't be dealing with more than that. Unless good feelings were coming from it and then you would be feeling them and they they will do and you will feel them and you just won't put two and two together anyway right <clears throat> so what I was just trying to say there point is whether you're a boy or a girl you're going to be affected by your soulmate so you're going to be getting the effects from them that they're feeling too and vice versa right so these are the watch points for because I said, like, girls born in the Northern Hemisphere are a dominant thing on the planet. Um, I think, you know, even though the 19 year is helping out and not making things so bad, as you can actually see from this, if this didn't have the 19 year put into it, it would be much more of a basic wave. But here the down is slightly flattened out, it's not so steep and the up is steeper than otherwise would be. But still, we'll have these watch points here because not like, you know, everything's dead rosy yet. I think next year is going to be much rosier. We'll see. Um, so March the 2nd, that's something we can look out for around that. It, it, March 2nd, maybe a day or two out, you know, there'll be... I can make a prediction, there will be something, there will be an issue. Um, April 29th will be the next one, or, you know, within a couple of days. So I've picked days that I know is a, a down day for women. And when I talk about a down day, you know, actually, today, 2nd of February, oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> if, it's, uh, if, if I'm hitting my low at noon... I consider that an up day because I've got, say I wake up in the morning, I know I'm only a few hours away from hitting my low point and then it will all be up and I don't have to think about it, right, in a sense. That to me 
is an update. So the where women are now on the long wave, 21, 28, coming to their lowest point, it's actually one of the best places to be. Because you're used to where you are, you haven't got that much worse to come, and you've got so much good in front of you, so much to look forward to, if you knew this was true, obviously. If you didn't know it was true, it wouldn't feel the same. So anyway, there are the watch points. March 2nd, April 29th, June 18th, August 9th. So there are times when men should make a special point of being kind to women. Anyway, using that as an example, we've all got, we all go through this. So you pause on which one is applies to you and you can have a good look at it and see if you think it's true. Alright, that's that. I'm sure there'll be lots more to talk about on this, but for the moment, we'll leave it at that. Okay, ciao.